So one of those things I've tried to do for quite a while in Blender is make balloons. And I've tried a lot of different methods, but this one that I kind of came up with yesterday was really fun. And I just had so much fun just playing around with it. I spent like an hour just messing around with it. And I'm gonna show you just real quick today how to set it up. So we're gonna be using some basic, very, very basic cloth settings. And you can notice here, these balloons, they just look like they wanna float up, like this helium in there. I'm gonna show you exactly how to do that and how to have these um, strings attached. And we'll even set up a little collider here. So if you wanna learn how to do this, keep watching. I just think that this is a ton of fun. So let's start by selecting our default objects. I'm gonna press delete and now we have an empty scene. And let's use a sphere to make this. I'm gonna go shift A and let's go to our mesh options and let's go over here, just add a UV sphere. Now there's no need to change any of these settings. You could make the resolution a little bit higher but I found what works better is to just leave it as it is by default. And then if you want a smoother looking balloon, you could always add a subdivision surface modifier on top of your cloth same and that way you don't have so much of um, so much processor use it's a little bit more efficient so what we're going to do with this sphere selected we're going to go into our front orthographic view just simply tab into your edit mode and let's go to our proportional editing here and i'm just going to quickly toggle on the x-ray and i'm just going to drag and select just a few verts at the bottom and let's go g z and what you're going to do you're going to drag your mouse cursor down and because proportional editing is enabled, you can always grow your fall off by rolling your middle mouse button, or you can shrink it. So those of you who haven't used proportional fall off, um, definitely give it a shot, it's very handy. So we're gonna drag it down to about here. And it's looking a little bit odd. So we're gonna go S, Shift, Z. Okay, now what is that actually doing? Now, if you go into a different perspective and you go S, Shift, Z, you can actually see it's only scaling along the Y and the X axis, but excluding the Z, which is really handy. So you can also control the fall off. So let's make the balloon a little bit more pointy. You guys get the idea, but what we're gonna do is we're gonna go to our edge select option. Now we have our simple little balloon shape. And um, what we're gonna do, I'm gonna toggle off the X-ray for now. And let's select just two. You could technically do this with one edge, but I'm just gonna select two edges like so. And I'm just gonna go S to scale them and then enable proportional editing again and just scale them a little bit bigger, okay? Now this is just a quick cheating way to do it. We wanna make sure though that our cloth is connected, so we don't wanna like make a separate string, so that's why we're doing it like this. We're gonna go E to extrude and Z and extrude it down, like so. And then if you go Shift R and you hold it in, it can repeat that action. And at this point you can make it however long you want. I'm gonna go something like this. I'm gonna go to my vertex select, so these two bottom, ver these three bottom verts are active. We're gonna go over to our Object Data Properties, let's go to the Vertex group and click plus. And let's just call this pin because that's gonna be our pinned group and we're gonna go assign. So now these three are assigned to that group and if you deselect everything and you select it and you go select, you should see only those three are active. We're then gonna press A to select everything, G, Z, let's just move it up. So our origin points here at the bottom. You don't have to do that, I just find that's just a better way to work. We're gonna tab back out, we're gonna right click and go shade smooth. So now we have a very simple balloon. How do we add the physics? So we're gonna go over to our physics properties. We're gonna give this a cloth. And then there are a few things we wanna consider. So let's go down to our shape, first of all, and let's go to pin group. Let's click here and we should see that group called pin. And uh, if you were to now actually um, give this, um, go to frame one, hit the space bar, you're gonna see you just have your standard cloth simulation. And one of the major problems you're gonna see here is obviously gravity is forcing things down. So how do we fix that? Well, I'm gonna show you. We're just gonna simply go down to our field weights. And here you can see we have a parameter for gravity. It's set to one. All you can do is just double click on that and then type in negative one and press enter. And now if you go to frame one and hit the space bar, look at this. Now gravity is inverted and you essentially have your balloon. But this balloon is looking very saggy. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go up here to pressure, just click on pressure, and then we're gonna come to the amount here, and you could type in whatever. I'm gonna go with nine. You can mess around with those values, go to frame one, then hit the space bar, and now our balloon has pressure in it. How cool is that? So now you have a helium balloon, and let's make this even cooler. Okay, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna go down here to our collisions. Because we're gonna make multiple balloons in the same um, mesh, what we're gonna do, we're gonna go down and enable self-collision so they can collide. So now if we tab into edit mode, we can take this whole thing, we can go shift D to duplicate, let's rotate one of these balloons. And let's go over here, like so. And let's go shift D, let's duplicate another one, and let's put it over here. 
Now let's tap back out, go to frame one, and now let's hit the spacebar. And now you're gonna see these balloons are interacting with each other. How cool is that? But even cooler, and I'm gonna show you this, you can add some thickness to this. So let's, um, it's like to these strings here, So, but without adding it to the balloon. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna tab into edit mode. We're gonna deselect everything. Let's go to our object data properties. And remember that pin group, if you click select, all of these, it's remembered it. So if we go control plus, we can grow the selection. Let's just grow it all the way up the string, like so. And let's go plus, create a new group and assign. Let's double click and call it thick, like so. Okay, now we're gonna tab back out and let's go over to our modifier. Let's go to add modifier. Let's give it a solidify and then come to the vertex group here and go thick. Now we can only add thickness to these strings over here. So if we go to frame one, we hit the space bar. Now we have some solidity to that and it doesn't just look like an infinitely thin piece of whatever, ribbon. So that is how to make a balloon simulation in Blender. Now let's do something just quickly to make this even cooler. Let's go over to our objects, our mesh objects. Let's add in, hmm, let's add a cylinder. Let's go RX90, hit enter. I'm gonna place my cylinder here. Go with something like that, apply the scale. And now what we're gonna do, um, well, I might actually just go in here and just give it a bevel, because I don't know, it just bothers me that it's square. And I'm gonna just give that smooth shading. Doesn't matter, just grab whatever object you want. And let's go over to frame one and enable auto keying. Let's just move it a little bit to add an auto key. Let's come up to frame 40 and let's go G, move it in here a bit. And let's go up a little bit. Let's maybe move it over here and let's move it back a little bit over here. You guys can do whatever you want. I mean, just, you know, use your imagination, Move maybe move it up and then have it go back to where it came from. Just move it around however you want. Then what you're gonna do is you're gonna go to frame one, you're gonna go to your physics and let's give this a collision, right? So now if we go to frame one and hit the space bar, now we have a collider object that is pushing our balloons around. And you could also add in a force field like some wind or something. You can see here one of these balloons is fused with the other one. Um, in that case, all you have to do is just go select your cloth, go over to your cloth settings and increase the quality steps, especially under the um, collision here. And you can also increase the distance here, like make it maybe 0 0.05 instead, and up the quality. And then if you go to frame one, he hits the space bar it should usually resolve those problems quite good. So um, this is just one of those cool things that I've been trying for a long time and then I kind of figured out this technique and it just works really good. And uh, like I said, it has some issues here and there, but if you mess around with the settings and the animation, you can usually make it work quite well. I've made one of these where I've really added a lot of um, different details to it and added in a lot of different balloons and it just works fine. So I'll see you guys next time for another tutorial and thank you for watching.